Brittany, it seems like every day we're hearing about another political protest. So here today to talk about it is political analyst David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. David, thanks for being here today. Happy to be here, thank you. So the protest, um, you know, let's talk about it in a historical perspective. Uh, we've seen protests in the past, but how are the protests now uh, that Donald Trump has been elected differ from what you've seen with past presidents? Well, the biggest thing is social media. I think the presence of social media right now when people want to put together a protest, they could tell Text somebody, they could, you know, I am somebody through the Facebook and through Twitter and through all that social media. Back in 1968, when there was like a Vietnam War protest, you know, people had um, flyers or mimeograph copiers and things like that, and it was more, um, it was more difficult to get people uh, geared up for a protest, and it took more time. Now it could be instantaneous. That's a bigger difference. Now we've seen violence break out in some of these protests, uh, damage being done and, and other things happening. Uh, what was a more dangerous situation? What you saw back in 1968 or what we're seeing today? Well, my estimation was in 1968, mainly because you have more security in place now. You have a better network of more of, of police that are trained a little bit better for the situation. And it's, it was, it was, I believe, um, less uh, dangerous now, believe it or not. It seems as if it's more dangerous, but uh, in 1968, there were assassinations, there wasn't enough security. And in 1969, when President Nixon was in his inaugural uh, motorcade, people were within range to throw tomatoes at him. So it's a little more safer today. Well, and I think, as you mentioned, with social media, someone puts a Facebook Live feed up and you really see what's happening almost instantaneously. Exactly. Now, as far as the point that the protesters have, what do you think they're trying to get across? I think they're trying to get across their disagreement with some of the policies that are being enacted. But the biggest point they're making is the numbers. You know, back in the 60s, there was the anti-war protests and then the women's movement protests. But, you know, the, in, in sheer numbers, it was isolated in the sense that it was in only different parts of the country and different parts of the world. The sheer numbers this time around is staggering to me. Now, we continue to see the protests, uh, you know, day after day, week after week. It's been going on for quite some time now. Do you think this trend is going to continue or will the protests start to quell down here in the coming it weeks? It all depends on how the White House reacts to this. President Nixon met with the Vietnam War protesters and I think it would go a long way if the president decided to meet with some of these people. But I have a feeling that it's going to be a protest a week. All right, and we'll be, keep, of course, uh, keeping up with all of those. We have Eyewitness News that keeps track of things, pahomepage.com. And also, David, you have a lot on your uh, political letter as well. Yes. Uh, LULAC political letter dot blogspot dot com. All right, check it all out online. David Yonkai from the LULAC political letter. Thanks so much for being here, and we'll see you once again uh, in the coming weeks. Thank you. All right, time.